What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So there are over 270 PA programs and that means that many of you will be going to PA school in a state that you do not necessarily live in. So what does that mean for clinical year if you wanna do a rotation outside of the state that you're going to PA school in or a job once you've graduated from PA school and you wanna go back home? That is the question that we're gonna be answering in this video right now. Doing my dance, hey, I'm doing my dance, don't mind me. I'm doing my dance. So this question came from Sipping Tea. It says, Do you have a video explaining what happens if you go to school out of state but want a job at your home state? Is there a way to do the clinical year at hospitals in your home state? Thank you. XOXO. All right, sipping tea, I am about to spill some tea for you. So buckle up, get your pen and paper, take some notes, or just save this video as you subscribe to my channel so you can know exactly when I come out with more tea for you, okay? But do I have a video that explains this? I do have a video where I talk about it, but I mean, not as, I guess, dedicated as this video is. So this video is for you, okay? Now, what happens if you want to go to a school out of state, but you want to work at home or go to clinical rotations in your home state? Now, I've done this. Um, I did this at my particular program because I knew that I wanted to come back home. Um, that's where my base was. That is where my tribe was, I guess you can say, all of the help that I needed. Because, um, you know, I have kids and stuff. They have cousins. They want to see them. And so... I knew I wanted to be back home. So therefore, when I was applying to PA school, this was one of the number one questions I asked programs that I was interested in. Do you allow outside rotations? And so I think that it's important that this be your number one thing to do. When you're interviewing, when you're doing your research on your programs, when you're looking to see, okay, is this something that, is this program ranked higher for me on my list than this program? You're asking these programs, hey, you know, I'm interested in your program. I'm also interested in, you know, building rotations um, and you know, relationships in my home state. Do you guys allow outside rotations? If they say yes, great. Um, then all you have to do after that is ask what is the process of getting those rotations. Um, typically it will be an affiliation agreement. Uh, so what an affiliation agreement is, is basically an agreement between your school and the hospital just saying that yes, uh, you they are allowing you to come in as a student learner and then all of the various different guidelines that they have to fall under, um, you know, will lay out like the type of insurance that you need as a student um, learner and all of those various different things, who your preceptor will be, that kind of stuff, okay? So that is the first part. If they say no, then you move on to your next um, your next school. But honestly, there are a lot of schools that are looking for uh, affiliation agreements because they are new and they're developing and they're hungry to get all of these extra affiliation agreements because they don't have that many and they, they want more sites for their students to go to. Um, that was my school. They said as many affiliation agreements as you can get, go ahead and do it because they were new developing. I think they were maybe like two years in existence um, by the time that I had gotten in. And, you know, they had only graduated one class and the other class was about to graduate and we were coming in. And so that meant that, hey, we needed more affiliation sites um, or we wanted more affiliation sites. Now, there are some programs, obviously, that aren't new and developing, several that have been around for a while and they already have um, either built in rotations that are out of state. So you can look at that um, or they don't want you know, any extra affiliations. And so those are things that you're gonna have to think and for and juggle for yourself. Once the school says that they allow affiliation agreements, this is now your opportunity to hit the ground running, okay? For me, what I did was I cold called, okay? I knew that I needed rotations in OBGYN. I knew that I needed um, like women's health. I knew I needed rotations in pediatrics and psych. I knew I needed rotations in general history uh, and general surgery. So there are lots of areas, typically 11 main areas that you're going to need rotations in. Um, and then at least two electives for me, my school offered me four electives. So I was able to choose and pick, uh, where I wanted to do those rotations. Now the hospital system that I got into at my home state 
offered me like seven of my 11 rotations. And so I was able to get an affiliation with them. And then all I needed to do was find whoever the head PA was in that particular department and ask them if they would be my preceptor. And if they said yes, then great, it was fine. Um, I was able to now just go in that hospital system and really make my way through. Um, and I only got that because I called, I asked, I reached out to friends who I knew that worked in those various different systems and was like, hey, do you know a PA? Do you know a PA in this field? Um, and that is what you have to do. You have to be bold. Uh, you can't be shy when you're trying to break the mold of what has already been started, right? You're trying to set a new mold, which is get an affiliation agreement out of state. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take time. And that's why you have to start early okay as soon as you get that yes from your school you start early start doing these cold calls and see if anybody um, bites and says yes they will allow you to do a rotation at their office or at their hospital for me when I, I got the majority of my rotations within that first year of PA school which was great because I needed the affiliation to come through um, the affiliation agreement to come through and then to be able to just smoothly start my rotations. However, there were like two or three rotations that I was still struggling to get when I was in clinical year. And that is why it's important that you gotta start early. I did not have my psych rotation until a month before I was supposed to start. Um, and I didn't have my peds rotation until two months before I was supposed to start. And so that was really like nerve wracking for me. I had to call these people and then I would send them my resume and, you know, a little blurb about myself and, you know, just so that they can get to know me. And so that is something that you should be working on as well. That may be the third thing that you should be doing is working on your resume, like your postgraduate resume to show, hey, you know, this is who I am. Um, on GetThatCUniversity.com, we have like sample resumes and interview tips and things like that that will help you through that process. So you should go look around you know subscribe and become a member of get that to university so that you're able to kind of make this process a little bit smoother you can find resume help online okay but that's what I did I sent them my resume and then they would send me back an email and be like hey yeah okay cool what is what's needed well they wouldn't say cool but they'd be like what's needed from me and you know um, some of these places uh, asked to charge, like, you know, you would give them like $200 or $400 for like your five or six weeks. Um, and then, but once I got there, like they didn't charge me, which thank God, because, you know, sometimes again, it's about just knowing um, or not knowing, like for the preceptor, they don't know you, right? They don't know your work ethic. They don't know anything about you. And some of them don't know PA students at all, which is something else that we have to break. Okay, you guys. So you got to go in there. You got to be a boss. You got to be great. Um, and you got to advocate for the PA profession, and, but no, but you really have to do your best so that for the people coming behind you, you know, these preceptors are like, yeah, absolutely. I'll take another PA student. And so that is what, um, I did. I sent my resumes out and I got these preceptors to agree. After you've gotten these preceptors to agree, then again, you go through that whole affiliation agreement, um, process when it is like a personal office type of space. Okay. You need that yes first, and then you get the agreement. Um, you can get affiliation agreements with hospital systems, and then you can go ahead and get yes from preceptors in the system that are already taking students. Um, typically it's our, automatically going to be a yes. It just depends on what month you're trying to do your rotation because sometimes they already have a schedule of students coming in um, and they may not want more than two PA students or maybe not more than one PA student a month. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, when it comes to actually getting a job in your home state, that's where having a great rotation site in your home state matters. You have to make sure that you build these bridges. You've heard me say this a lot. You want to make sure that you are building relationships like the relationship that we're building right now. You guys are subscribing to my channel. You're getting this content from me on a consistent bi-weekly basis. We're building a relationship. When you are doing that in a rotation site, you're building these bridges with your preceptors so that when a spot opens up, because 
spots open up, you're going to be like, hey, me, I I want a job. Um, do you remember me from two months ago, three months ago? Um, I was that student that, you know, stayed a little extra longer um, to finish suturing, whatever it may be. So you leave this lasting impression in their mind so that they're able to be call on you and you're memorable. And they're like, okay, yeah, absolutely. I'll give Adana or, you know, Sharon a job, whatever it is. You, you want to make sure that that is the impression that you're leaving. So making these relationships, getting these clinical rotations in your home state is really, really important when you're trying to do that. Now, that doesn't mean that you cannot get a job in your home state if you went to school out of state and you didn't do any clinical rotations in your home state. By no means. That's not what that means. It just means that it's a little bit easier when you already know the people and the hospital system that you're trying to apply to, okay? But if you did not do that, if you didn't get a rotation there, then what you do is once you're starting to like get close to graduation, you go to your state's board of physician um, website, you look and see what is needed to get a license in that particular state and you start filling out the application. Um, once you, there are some states that allow you to fill out the application before you've passed your boards, there are others that don't. So you just have to know what the particular, um, I guess, mode or steps are in your state. My state didn't. The state that I went to school in did allow you to fill out that application without passing your boards initially. So I just thought you just have to look at it. Okay. Once you figure that out, if your state allows you to do that, then you need to make sure that all of the things that are needed from your school, mainly your program director is gotten before you leave. If not, um, it might be a little bit more difficult for you to get their signature or get them to fill out information for you because you know they're busy. So you wanna look at all of those things to make sure that you're tackling all of that. Once that is tackled immediately after you've passed your boards or right when you're graduating, you send off your um, application for your license to get licensed in that state. And then what you do after that is you start applying to jobs, okay? So you, you're going to apply to as many jobs as you possibly can. Um, it is pretty, pretty easy to get interviews, maybe not as easy to get jobs, but um, there are lots of jobs out there. I sent out many, many, many applications, sometimes more than one because I use like ZipRecruiter um, and like some others like LinkedIn and all these other various different things, um, job, like job, resume, like sites, but you send them out and then you see what happens. I got an interview request the week that I sent out like my first interview, my first resume. Um, granted, I did not get that interview until a month out, but I got the request for an interview, right? And so that is what you want to do. You want to put yourself out there um, so that you are able to kind of not just be waiting around. You know, you want to send out all this stuff because you don't want to get out of PA school and then, you know, you really don't have anything kind of lined up. So you can start right when you graduate or you can start right when you pass your boards. After you've had some time like off, a little break, start applying to jobs and then you wait and you see. And that's really all that it is. Um, there are many people looking for PA jobs out there. Uh, it's just like PA school. So you're going to just have to apply and then interview and wait and see what happens. But like PA school, you got in and you made it through and you will do the same thing as a PA. So have faith, you will be fine. Um, hopefully I didn't in, um, you know, inundate you with too much information, but I wanted to make sure that I was thorough and, and just kind of laying out the steps to take to actually get a job in your home state as well as get rotations in your home state if you didn't go to PA school there. All right, thank you guys. So go ahead, leave me a comment in the comment section below about you know anything that you may have in mind for future videos. Like I said, I read these things, so go ahead and do that. Like this video for me, it helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot. So please go ahead, like this video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA, and do the same for Get That C University at Get That C University on Instagram as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.